Greetings, brave travelers, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to take you through the changes for the Warrior and Paladin coming next week in Pre-Patch. This will be the fourth episode in our four-part series discussing these such changes. In all of our previous episodes, we have covered the base talent changes, the new talents added, and lastly, any tweaks or tuning that has come for each class in general. For our finale, we will continue on this same deep dive. If you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button for more video series like this one. And if you find anything here useful to you, take the like button out for dinner. And just when the bill comes, get up and walk out of the restaurant without saying a word. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First up, we're going to start with the changes coming to Warrior. We'll start here with the arms specialization. First talent change we see is improved rend. The bleed damage is increased from 35% to 75%. Tactical mastery. This is moved to the protection tree and replaced with iron will from the protection tree. This increases the chance to resist stun or charm effects by 15%. We have improved thunderclap. This adds increased damage done by thunderclap by 100% and increases the slow effect by 10% to the tooltip. Anger Management. Tooltip change from increases time required for your rage to decay while out of combat by 30% to generates one rage point every three seconds while in combat. Sleeping Strikes. Moved to Fury and traded for Death Wish. Death Wish's tooltip has changed a little bit. This increases the physical damage done by 20% and makes you immune to fear effects, but lowers all armor and resistances by 20. That back half has changed to all damage taken is increased by 5%. Mace Specialization, this adds a 7 Rage Generation to the Stun Effect. Axe Specialization and Polearm Specialization have combined into the Polearm Specialization, though it still gets the same static 5% increased critical strike for both Polearms and Axes. Improved Intercept moved here from the Fury Tree. And what's new for our Arms Warriors? Well, we have Improved Disciplines, Second Wind, Blood Frenzy, Improved Mortal Strike, and Endless Rage. Moving on now to Fury. Our first talent change here is Booming Voice adds Commanding Shout to the tooltip. Improved Battle Shout changed to Commanding Presence. This holds the same values, but adds Commanding Shout to the tooltip. Sweeping Strikes changed to 10 melee strikes, up from 5 in Classic. Improved Slam reduces the cast time of Slam by 1 second, increased from 0.5 seconds. Flurry, attack speed increase reduced from 30% down to 25%. And our What's New category for the Fury Warrior is Weapon Mastery, Improved Whirlwind, Precision, Improved Berserker Stance, and Rampage. The big bulky Shield Toting Protection spec is up next. We have Shield Specialization and Improved Blood Rage swapping positions. Tactical Mastery was moved here and reduced from 25 Rage at 5 points to 15 Rage at 3 points but adds a threat increase for Bloodthirst and Mortal Strike in defensive stance. This gives you a little bit more off-spec versatility when it comes to potentially holding off-tank aggro. Anticipation's talent defense increased from 10 to 20. Defiance changed from 5 points to 3 and adds a 6-point increase to your expertise. Improved Shield Block changed from 3 talent points to 1, and the duration increase for Shield Block reduced to 1 second from 2 seconds. Shield Slam changed to 100% chance to dispel a beneficial magic effect, up from 50% chance. And our What's New category for the Protection Warrior is Shield Mastery, Improved Defensive Stance, Focused Rage, Vitality, and Devastate. Overall ability changes for the Warrior, we have Blood Rage removes the Warrior is considered in combat for the duration, so you can generate rage out of combat using this ability. Thunderclap, now usable in defensive stance, which is very large for having some kind of AoE aggro for the Protection Warrior. Next, we're going to move over to our Divine Warriors of the Light. Taking a look first at our Walking Flashlight talent spec, Holy. Consecration was removed from the tree and made baseline and trainable at level 20. Aura Mastery was put in its place and increases the range of your auras to 40 yards. Illumination Talent, mana cost reduction of next spell reduced from 100% base mana cost to 60% base mana cost. And Lasting Judgment, changed to Sanctified Light. This increases the critical strike chance of Holy Light by 6%. What's new for our Holy Paladins? 
We have Purifying Power, Light's Grace, Blessed Life, Holy Guidance, and Divine Illumination. Holy Pallies really excel in dungeons and tank healing and raids. They'll also see that some of the changes really help them in BG healing. On next to our massive AoE tanks, we have Improved Devotion Aura, Armor Bonus buffed from 25% to 40% at 5 points in TVC. Redoubt change from critical strikes on you give a 30% increased block chance to any melee or ranged attacks against you have a 10% chance to proc the same 30% block chance increase. Guardian's Favor, duration increase for Blessing of Freedom reduced to 4 seconds, down from 6 seconds. Improved Righteous Fury, adds reduces all damage taken by 6% while Righteous Fury is active to the tooltip. Anticipation, Defense skill given by this talent changed from 10 to 20. Improved Concentration Aura. 15% chance to resist silence or interrupts changed to a 30% reduction in duration of silence and interrupt effects. Reckoning. In Classic, it gave you 100% chance to gain an extra attack after being a victim of a critical strike. Now, it gives you a 10% chance after being hit by any damaging attack that the next four swings from your weapon you do will generate an extra attack. One-handed weapon specialization. Damage you deal with one-handed weapons increased by 10% in classic. Change to all damage you deal increased by 5% when you use a one-handed melee weapon. This increases your holy damage done as well, thus increasing your threat and DPS. Holy shield threat increase portion brought to 35% from 20%. And what's new in the protection talent tree? We have stoicism. Spell Warding, Sacred Duty, Improved Holy Shield, Combat Expertise, and Avenger's Shield. The Protection Paladin changes really launch them into the forefront of Dungeon Tanks and Trash Pack Tanks in 5 mans and Raids respectively. Once geared, these guys can also play a solid off-tank option. And lastly, we're going to look at the real Divine Warrior version of the Paladin. First change we have is Improved Seal of the Crusader in Classic. Melee attack power bonus and holy damage of Judgment of Crusader increased by 15%. Change now to your Judgment of the Crusader will increase critical strike chance against the target by 3% added benefit. Vindication changed from reducing strength and agility by 15% for 10 seconds to all attributes reduced by 15%. For 15 seconds. The Pursuit of Justice talent in Classic increased movement and mounted movement speeds by 8%. Now sees a 3% reduction in chance to be hit by spells added to the tooltip and increases the movement and mounted movement speeds by 15%. What's new for the Retribution Paladin? We have Crusade, Improved Sanctity Aura, Sanctified Judgment, Divine Purpose, Sanctified Seals, Fanaticism, and Crusader Strike. Retribution Paladins are a force to be reckoned with in both PvE and PvP. They won't necessarily top meters, but do bring very viable DPS and buffs from Auras and Blessings. And they won't necessarily top Arena Brackets, but they can definitely hold their own in the same regard. The general changes for our Paladins. We have already discussed the Consecration change being made baseline and all. But to add to that, we have a new passive that is trained at level 18, which gives Paladin's mana back equal to 8% of the amount healed from another healer. This does not, however, count overhealing. This is a great change for dungeon grinding to those who primarily tank while leveling. It does add a lot of longevity to the class. This concludes our video for not only the pre-patch changes for Paladin and Warrior, but also our four-part series for all classes and specs in the TBC pre-patch. This series would not have been possible if not for all of you keeping me motivated to make it happen. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so, as our next series will be on rotation and talent choices for each class in TBC. Also, please make sure you stop over at twitch.tv slash godoflulz to say hi and ask any questions you may have regarding TBC. Thanks for watching friends, and farewell.